Okay, so let's talk about adding some roles and features using Server Manager. Now, before I get into this, I want to show you a couple of things here real quick. We have, so this is our dashboard screen. We can view our dashboard, and on that, we've got some basic configurations. Configure this local server, add roles and features, create a server group, connect to cloud services. And then down here, we have our roles in our server groups. And so you'll see we have three roles here, ADDS, DNS, and file and storage services. Those are the three roles that I have on this server right now. Here's my local server, and then all servers, these are server groups. And you'll notice that I have some services here. This is showing up as red because there's some errors. And so it's identifying some services that are an issue. So basically, I just rebooted the server and it hasn't finished bringing up those services yet. This will default every 50 or will, sorry, it will refresh by default. There we go. Every 15 minutes or so. I can force a refresh now just by clicking this button. And when I do, you'll see our little progress indicator come across and it refreshes and it says, OK, those services are up now, so we're not going to worry about it. So sometimes people will panic when they see that after a reboot. It just means this, uh, not all the services finished coming up yet. Now, here we've got little tiles that show us our roles and our uh, server groups. We've got the same thing over here where we have our local server and then all servers, and then our specific roles, ADDS, DNS, and file and storage services. So you'll notice for some of them, we've got some configuration options here. For others, we have some events related to that role. We've got some services related to that role, a best practices analyzer, and then performance related to that role. For the local server, we have our local server configuration and then events and services on best practices, analyzer, performance, roles and features on that one individual server. So these give us a quick overview of what all of our servers look like. Now, just as a little heads up, you'll notice this little one in the corner. That's because I have one server that's running ADDS, one that's running DNS, one that's running file services. In another video, we're going to show you how to add some additional servers so that you can manage more than one server using Server Manager, which is kind of the whole reason we have Server Manager. But for this video, I want to focus on adding roles and features. Now, we've probably done it before, but I'll just walk you through it real quick. I'm going to go to Manage and then Add Roles and Features. Now, I've got two options here. I can add and I can remove. Let's start by adding. So I'm going to add roles and features. Before you begin, gives you some preliminary information. Then it's going to ask which type. Now, we've got two different things here. 90% of the time, we're probably going to do role-based or feature-based installation. So that's where we add roles or features to a server. The second option, remote desktop services installation, we only use this if we're setting up a VDI environment, so a virtual desktop infrastructure. And that's where we're using probably thin clients or something like that to connect to our servers rather than running a local full operating system. We're using that thin client, it connects to a session on our server, and that's how it gets its operating system. So most of the time we're going to do roller feature based installation. Now if I've added multiple servers in, I'm going to see this list here. Uh, I'll see a list of all the servers that are being managed by this instance of server manager. I can also select a virtual hard disk, and rather than deploying a roller feature to a server, I can deploy it to a VHD. Now, this would be the case if I was running like virtual servers, and I wanted to deploy one to a server that was currently offline, right? I can shut the thing down, or I can, you know, install it shut it down or copy a hard drive over it, a fresh installation of a hard drive after I've sysprepped it, then I can install roles to it and then bring the system up. So I can do either way. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this with my selected server and click next. And then here are all of my roles that I can install. Now, a role is going to be a function that the server provides for the network. So it could provide DHCP services, or it could provide Hyper-V, or it could provide remote access, or it could provide web server, or WDS services, or whatever. So I'm going to pick DHCP, and when I check that, it says, okay, we can add that. Do you want to include everything else that's going to be required for it? And it tells me remote server admin tools, role admin tools, and then the DHCP server tools. And then down here, I've got this checkbox, include management tools as applicable. If I uncheck that, then I 
I install the role, I just don't install the tools to manage it. So normally we leave that checked. And then we add the required features. Okay, in the next page, so this first page was server roles. This one is going to be features. Features are things that aren't necessarily functions that we serve in the network, but they are tools that allow it, the server to work differently in the network. So for example, failover clustering. It's not a role that we provide for the network, but it's something that we that helps our server fulfill its role in the network. Uh, containers would be even branch cache kind of integrates with file services. So there's lots of different things here that are not necessarily roles that we provide for the network, but there's something that we run as a feature of the operating system. So I'm going to click next because I don't need to add any features. And then depending on what I check, this may give me some more information. So I'm happy with that and I click install. Okay, that installs my roller feature. So pretty straightforward here. I can let this set and just leave it here and watch my progress indicator. I can also close this out. And now I no longer see my progress indicator, but if I come up to my notifications area, I can see that here. And then this is going to tell me when it gets done. All right, so that's adding a role or feature in server manager. Pretty straightforward, right? We select, and then some of them we're going to have to do some additional configuration on. Uh, DHCP, for example, when it comes up, we're going to have to do some additional configuration if we want to use it. Some of them are going to require us to add additional features or maybe give us options for additional features. Let me show you one of those real quick. I'm going to go to manage, add roles and features. I'm not going to do this, but I just want to show it to you. And that is our file and storage services. We actually have a bunch of different options here and only one of them is selected. So, well, two. So you'll see we have Two out of 12, so we've got file and iSCSI services, one out of 11 installed, and storage services are installed. And you'll notice that this gives a little black box rather than a check. The check indicates, hey, this is installed, the black box says, well, some of these things are installed. And file services is really the only one that has multiple things like that. But as you add different one, different role services or different roles, you're going to see different options pop up here as you work through the wizard. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that for the moment. I'm going to check my notifications, and my notifications are going to tell me that my feature installation succeeded. So if I refresh this, it now I get a notification saying, hey, we have something else going on, and we need to complete our DHCP configuration. And I actually don't want to do that, but I do want to point this out to you. That is, I now have DHCP as a role over here, and I've got a little tile here for DHCP showing me that manageability is up, and then I can view event services performance, and BPA is best practices analyzer. Now, if I want to remove a roller feature, I do the same thing just backwards. So I go to manage, and instead of clicking add, this one only gives me the option to add. It does not give me the option to remove. So I can't say add roles and features, let me skip through this, and then uncheck something here. It won't let me do that. So what I have to do instead is manage and remove roles and features. And I'm going to go ahead and remove. So similar thing here, right? We can do this for a server in the pool or for a virtual disk. And then now notice everything that I would add is grayed out, but now I can uncheck DHCP. It says, all right, do we want to remove that? Yeah, I want to go ahead and remove that. And all features, next, next. And then same with the add. Uh, DHCP didn't require this, but I have an option here to restart the destination server automatically if required. If I leave that unchecked and a restart is required, server manager in the notifications area will tell me, hey, you need to restart this server when you get a chance. And sometimes we'll do that if we are removing something or installing something, but it's the middle of the workday and we don't want the system to go down while everybody's working on it. So we'll uncheck that and we'll say, yeah, I will get to it when I get a chance to get to it. We'll restart the server at a more opportune time. If it's a server that's not in production or if it's after hours, then frequently we'll go ahead and check that and say, yep, go ahead and reboot it. As soon as you get done, I'll be happy with it. Okay, my feature is removed. 
So my DHCP is gone. My DHCP is gone from here. Now I've got this manageability concern everywhere. That's going to go away at some point. I click my little drop down feature removal. A restart is pending on the server. You must restart the destination server to finish removing features. I'm actually going to hold off on that. I'm going to do that here in a minute, but I want to take a real quick second and show you how you can manage some of this in PowerShell as well. So I'm going to right click on my start and I'm going to go to Windows PowerShell admin. And let me go ahead and bump up. Go to my properties, font, and we're going to bump up this font here so you can hopefully read it a little bit better. Okay, so if I want to view my available roles and features, the command is get dash windows feature. I'm going to pipe that to more so you can see this. And it pulls our windows features and it does this little structured layout. So like Active Directory rights management, there's a couple of other things we can add to it as well. The rights management server and the identity federation. For the Active Directory certificate services, here are several role services we can add. For our file and storage services, here are several things we can add. And we saw those just a minute ago, right? So an X in this box means, hey, it's installed. A, um, a blank spot means that's not installed. And then over here, you'll see it also gives us available. This one has an uninstall pending. This one's installed. Um, if we want to install one, so print and document services, look here under the name column. If I scroll down, hey, fax server, that sounds like fun. So I can do, and this may not let me do it because I've got that install waiting or that uninstall pending, but it's install dash windows feature and then you put the name of the feature, so fax. And then you also have an option to dash include management, I wanna say features. I might have to do a get help here real quick. All right, yep, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna do a get help on install dash windows feature. I think it's management tools. I'm not, don't want to update my help because I'm not connected to the internet right now. Yep. Include management tools. There we go. That's what we want. So it would be, let me clear the screen and it's install windows feature, the feature name dash include management tools. And that command will install the Windows feature for us. And then if we want to take it out, it's remove Windows feature. And that will remove the Windows feature for us as well. So that's how we can do this. We can uh, manage Windows features and roles, by the way. Either one will work. Yep, I need to restart the server to finish the installation process. Let's see if I can remove it real quick. Poor thing is going to throw a fit at me with me doing all this stuff without... Uh, rebooting. So remove Windows feature fax. It will attempt to remove the feature and then I should probably reboot this poor thing and let it finish off all these changes so it's more content with its life. Okay, there we go. That is managing roles and features on a Windows server.